a rich woman bed and a good woman steal. I make an old woman blush and a young girl squeal. I want to be yours, pretty baby, yours and yours alone. But I'm here to tell you, honey, that I'm bad to the bone, bad to the bone. Da -na 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 -na. <sighs> Hi. Good morning, Demolitia. We got a problem today, and I am the problem solver. I'm gonna figure this out. The problem is these kayaks are sitting on the ground, and they're in the way. See, this place is really clean, except for these kayaks. They're the only problem we have in here. There's nothing else wrong in this place except these kayaks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of them. My plan is, so in the old barn, I had this cool pulley system that I had rigged up to pull, I had two kayaks back then, now I'm, I'm doing pretty well and I have three, uh, we found another one, <laughs> and I had a pulley system to pull them up high in the barn to get them out of the way. They just floated up top where they were not in the way at all and it was awesome and it looked kinda cool. So I'm thinking doing the same thing right here. We've got this rack set up over here with our chainsaws and all of our like dirt and yard tools over here and I was thinking I could just have them hoist up in the air, stack three high, and they would just be right up there, out of the way. So my other system, I used a bunch of pulleys so that I could half the amount of force I had to pull down. I doubled the distance, but half the force so that I could pull those things way up in the air. And then I got a hand crank as well to also give me a little mechanical advantage to get those things easily up in the air, and then it just locked them up there. I used rope, and I was always kind of worried that eventually this rope is going to get weak, and will drop. So yesterday, I went and bought a bunch of steel cables and I bought some more pulleys and my plan is to go try to make the exact same thing up there, but stronger so that it won't someday break. Plus now that I'm a baller and have three kayaks, it's heavier and so I need it to be stronger. How much does a kayak even weigh? I don't know. It's so hard to tell. I would say, between 50 and 75 pounds? I don't know, it's, it's so big and awkward that I feel like that makes it feel way heavier. It's not that, that heavy. But we'll say for, you know, just being conservative with it and saying they're heavier than they are, let's say they weigh 100 pounds each. So we have 300 pounds of kayaks, plus maybe with all the paddles and life jackets, there's another 100 pounds. We got 400 pounds that we need to hoist up in the air safely and securely and let them sit up there for storage. So I got this, just a hand-powered winch, and so the mechanical advantage is in these gears. So it has a tiny gear there and a big gear here. So when I go around one time here, I think it goes like a quarter or less of a turn here, which is great. So I have a lot of cranking distance to just pull it a little bit. Then I have two 3 16 50 feet cables. Should be good. And then I have a big assortment of pulleys and rings and all kinds of stuff. And luckily all this stuff had weight ratings on it so I could tell exactly how much it could withstand and we are good to go. Like it'll hold like three times the amount of weight that I need to hold. My helper's here. Hey. So my plan is get up here on the ceiling, hook these in like that I think. Yeah. I think so. Crank will be there, going up to a cable, goes to that pulley, and then down to the kayaks, and then up back and attaches to here. So we're actually gonna have a pulley up here and a pulley down low, which I think will give us four times the lifting power. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Basically, I'm an engineer, okay? I, I know you are also, but you're, you're actually yeah. more. Uh, so this is the doorway, right? This is where the crank will be. Has two cables running up. One hits, uh, they both hit this first pulley. I got a double pulley here. Actually, did I get it? I got two pulleys for that one. Uh, so they're gonna hit right here, and then one of the cables goes down and hits this side of the kayak, hits another pulley, comes back up, mounts fixed to the ceiling. But that second cable goes up, turns on this pulley, goes over to this pulley, down to this pulley, and up here. Think quadrupling our lifting power. I actually have some videos on this on my 
channel from a long time ago. Uh, the first iteration, I didn't have pulleys down here and I didn't have this crank right here. I just had a rope. They went up to the pulley and came down to the kayaks. And it was hilarious watching me try to lift these things off the ground. Like my hands were like all torn up and I was having to like jump and put all my strength into it and then tie it off and it was a big pain. So then I got this and it was still kind of heavy. Actually, no, then I got just pulleys. I got extra pulleys to make it easier and it was doable then but it was still hard. And then I got this crank, psh, fixed everything. I actually tried to buy an electric crank, but they didn't have any. That would've been cool. You just hit a button and they go Whoa. So anyway, we You're got this. You're gonna hang three of them? Yeah. Where? Right there. It's gonna be great. How much do you think a kayak weighs? 50, 75, something like that? Yeah, probably. Say they're both, they're each 100 pounds. We gotta lift 300 pounds of kayaks. They're not 100 pounds. I know, I'm saying conservatively, that's how much we gotta lift. I mean, I think I can pick up a kayak. Let's see you lift a kayak. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, they're supposed to be light. That's, all right, so we got. Definitely does not weigh 50 pounds. The reason I thought it might weigh more is because of how hard it was for me to lift these up with a single pulley. I think you should just And I weigh off. 200 pounds. Let's Maybe I'm just way stronger than I think. Super strong. Here, grab that. Let's drag it over there so we can see. Okay, you just got, you got all by yourself. Get that in. <laughs> Oh, there's a handle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make you carry the middle and I'll just get one side. Yeah. Oh, this thing's like 400 pounds. We're just really big. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm 7'5 and Mare is 6'8. So yeah, I'm thinking between that one and that one. That's gonna be perfect. This part is done now. And so the plan is two cables come up and go through here. One of these cables will go down to the right side of the kayaks. The other will go across and then go down to the left side of the kayaks. But the one that goes to the right side will go down, hit a pulley, and come back up and hook to here. And so this one is just to get it across the other side. This one is actually going to go straight back down. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you now, because it'll be a lot more apparent when there's actually cables. So we're going to get down, go over there, do the other side, and uh, then probably mount the crank, and then we can start putting cables up. I'm an idiot. I put those things like a foot from the wall up there because my thought is this thing's, you know, about two feet wide. So a foot from the wall will be here and then this will just glide down the wall. I forgot we have all this stuff on the wall that actually sticks out real far. Like, I mean, these shovels are far, but everything, like it would just be bouncing off all this stuff as all three of the things went down. It didn't knock everything off the wall. <sighs> so I'm probably gonna move it about 18 inches further out. So I'm gonna go undo everything I just did and redo it, but just shimmy. See you guys back in a minute. Okay. <sighs> Center will be moved out now. Still might touch things on the wall, but it won't knock everything off. Now I gotta go do that one that's a little bit higher. Sweet. Oh, oh, I'm done, dang. I wanted to keep doing this. So here's my plan for the crank. I'm gonna put it right like that. And it'll just crank. Right there. Roll her up, roll her down. I think it'll work and the crank's not in anyone's way. No one's gonna hit it, it's not hitting anything. I think it's the perfect plan. I just realized though, it's gonna be kind of at an angle because those are off to the side. What if I should, no I can't put that in. I'm just gonna hook it down and see if it works because I don't know what else to do. And one more good measure these slag bolts are way too big but they're what I had in the barn and uh, they're definitely gonna hold it down and power tools are awesome cool so I got to put the little lever back on there that has the lock so it click 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 and then uh, we can go ahead and start routing our cable through here I think we got it mounted that's letting it down, flip that, and that's pulling it up. I forgot to buy the little thimble thing that goes 
in here. It's not gonna be done exactly right, but it's not carrying a ton of weight, so I think it should be fine. I got two little clamps, double it over on itself, clamp it down. So it goes down to this pulley, and it goes back up to this pulley, and we hopefully have enough cable. Oh, that actually, it's gonna work good. We got enough, sweet. Thank you. All right, going up. Hey, Annie. If you want me to hang any of your teddy bears up really high in your room or anything like that, I can make a pulley system for them. I don't have a teddy bear. Dollies? No. If you want your unicorn, I can hang your stuffed unicorn no. up on the ceiling so it's out of your way. Just think about it. No. Lincoln, if you need any of your Barbie dolls coming up at the top of the room. <laughs> <laughs> this is called wrong tool for the job. That's scary. But I'm like halfway through it now. So I'm you just gotta gonna commit. gotta commit, you know. I should have just karate chopped it. I've been working on my karate anyway. Daddy, you're not good at karate. Shh. Shut up. That's the way to cut cables. Much easier. Got both of them hooked on here. I think they're going to loop upright. We'll see. This is not out of the way of the kayaks coming up. <laughs> so you're going to be sitting here cranking while a kayak is hitting you coming up or down. But you know what? That's the price you pay. What you get for kayaking. For kayaking. It's going at an angle, so it's going to be piling up all the cable on one side. Which could be an issue when you get further up. Yeah, right there. So it just knocked it over into the gear. And again, so to fix that, we just need to get a board that's slanted at an angle, I think. So this will be, shoot, but then that'll hit. We could go over to this wall and build a platform that it sits up on. That might be the way to do it. Yeah, because this is going to kick that cable over every time once you get to about here. So we can get them off the ground, but we can't get them all the way to the top like this. Because it's piling all the cables on one side and not going straight up in the middle. I don't know, I can't really figure out what to do. Like where we should go. Oh, I'll just use this scrap piece of wood here. It looks like it's perfectly made for this situation. So we're all the way at the top right now. Looks like this one went up a little bit higher, but it's okay if it's a little unlevel. Um, and that one was not gonna make it all the way to the top, which I never really thought about because the roof is angled. Filled up our pulley over here, our, our gear over here, whatever you call that, our winch. Uh, I'm going to let it down now and see if it will go all the way down without catching. I think it is going to catch. I think we'll need to do something about that in the future. Yeah, so right there, binding up on something. It's actually pretty good. And it's low enough now that you can get the kayaks off. I think we did it. I have no idea who that was. Welp, I have officially ruined this shirt, totally sweated through it, and got it very dirty. Let me slip into something a little more comfortable. Whoa, that was much better. Oh my gosh, we look so cute together. We do, we kind of match. Do you want to take uh, some kayaks to the lake? Okay, should we wear this brand new Link Active stuff? What are you wearing? What do you have on? Um, I have on our new bottoms and this reversible uh, swim top slash sports bra. Yep. It reverses to like this blue side that's really cute too. Yep. And it's got leggings to match also. Dang. So you can go work out in it and then put on swim bottoms and go swim. Speaking of swim bottoms, these are actually just the workout shorts. It's just been revamped. Uh, Mayor put mesh pockets in them now so that they don't fill up with water, um, they don't get, they don't fill up with air and like your pockets are out like that when you're swimming. And otherwise though, you can still work out them, they're lined, see they got liners and everything, just like a swimsuit, but they work really good as workout shorts as well. And there's more. Whoa! New ones. Lined as well, mesh pockets as well, not focusing very well. What do you got? You got a one piece on. Yeah. So McKenna and I worked so hard on this thing. We would get samples in and they would be terrible and we'd like cut them to pieces and sew them back together and then send them back and be like, no, make it like this. Anyway, but I think we nailed it and it turned out great. The back is so cute and it's actually reversible. The reverse side is just a solid blue color and then we also have it in a solid 
black. Black. That is like your classic, everyone needs this swimsuit. I will admit, I am not always a fan of one pieces, right? No, he actually hates them. I hate when Mare wears, I'm like, you look great at two piece. One pieces are for covering up, but this is a good looking one piece. I think it's a good and That's mix. a lot for me to say. It's a good mix between like, still being like young and cute and being like a mom. But you're young and cute. You're not a mom to me. I am a mom. <laughs> you're still young and cool, Mary, even though your kid's almost bigger than you. She's wearing the bottoms that I had on earlier and one of the new rash guards. We have it in this color and white. And then I have always made our kids wear rash guards and rash guard swimsuits, but I've never found any that I like. So I made some. I, like. <laughs> I made it. Yeah. What do you like about this that you wouldn't like about the other ones? I like that it's like you're covered so you don't have to worry about the sun but it's still like fun and cute it's not just a shirt or something yeah, yeah. Cool. um and then these like cinch on i thought the side you're going to me and zip and then your swimsuit so your swim trunks are new too yeah they're new look at that they got a pocket mm -hmm. but also still lined and mesh and all the good stuff yeah so we are celebrating two years of link active with this swimsuit yeah trunk. yeah i don't think we said that yet no we just hit the two year mark of link active and so Mayor wanted to launch with some swimsuits just in time for summer. And we're about to go rip it up in the kayaks before we hang them up for probably four days and then go kayaking again. Cause we went kayaking like four days ago. <laughs> we like to use the summer up. The wind just blew our couches off the porch over there. Uh, you can see the waters getting a little choppy. All these plants getting beat up. A lot of dust cause our yard is still made of dirt. I'm kind of worried about taking kayaks to the lake right now because those poor couches yeah your couches are gone we need to put some cinder blocks under them and tie them down or something but yeah your pillows are probably all down the hill too how do you put cinder blocks under them? i assume there's a gap underneath them we can find some kind of weights to put under them but and then tie them down the other ones are fine they're heavy enough that those stay these though just they're like wicker and they act like sails and just pull it these guys are bringing all this dirt right now we're getting a little more fill there was another project in town um, where they were going to be carting off the dirt anyway, and I was like, yeah, we just need to cart all that dirt here, but God, the dust is just rolling and it goes right into our pool. Live on a Texas mountain, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Sorry, Corvette, you look really dusty and dirty over there. Holy cow, what is happening right now? Oh my gosh. We need some grass. We need some grass really fast. Hey, good call on no kayaks. It's white capping out there. There are no boats on this lake. It's a non power boat lake, and there are just waves coming across here and white caps out there. And kayaking can be fine for adults, so you can see there are adults out there doing it. But those two, I think, may have problems. All right, let's go in the water. What the heck? It's just getting windier. Beautiful day of the lake. Freaking tornado out here, Annie. I have a prediction that we won't be here very long. The girls are cold. Bear's already blowing away. You have to come this way. You can't just float. What is happening? Look at this water. Guys, this is so fun. So, this is the best day. Oh, the water is kind of cold. Ah, ooh, ah. You get to that one spot, you know? <laughs> oh, yep. Uh -huh. Man, I'm gonna go check something at the car. I'll just be over there. Y'all have fun at the, at the lake. What? <laughs> Andy's gonna come help me. He's going backwards. I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I got you. This poor guy, oh, they can't get back. Those two on that yellow that was one. They're almost done. They're stuck. Oh, he's got it now. Those two just gave up. They're just like, nah, fam. We ain't going up river. It was a great idea. It was. You have water all over your glasses from the water Let's whipping up. Swim in the pool instead. Our pool is worse than this. How? We're on a hill and dust is blowing at you. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's this plus dust storms in your eyes. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. You're the cutest. So cute. So cute. Alright, so family, what's our decision? I say we go home. Same. I really want to slushy. No one wants to stay here? Oh yeah. We might have we might have got a slushy machine. You guys probably getting killed with audio, so sorry about that. Probably just wind wind noise nonstop. Uh, we're gonna drop off. Not because we're not having a great time. We're having a great time. Totally.
totally, totally fun. We lasted four minutes. I don't even do that. Probably not even four minutes. It's getting worse. Golly. Yeah, this is a small lake and it's, there's no boats, so it's always so calm and nice here. Except on tornado days, which we may be having. Not a tornado. It's a hurricane. You're right. When water makes it a hurricane, this is a hurricane. All right. Just pay me. Yeah, we paid ten bucks to come to this lake today for four minutes. Two and a half bucks a minute. Jeez. Ah, the old walk of shame. We messed up. We should have just stayed home and watched a movie today. Epic. <laughs> Epic. That was that was a lot. You know that what was, I noticed most though about this. That was that was the longest um lake trip I've ever had. <laughs> you know what I noticed most about this awesome lake trip? Our swimsuits looked <laughs> great. They were so functional. So fun. I mean, like they held up great in four minutes of swimming. Oh, it's a good thing he has an enclosed cab. He needs to make sure to change his filter. Look at all that dust just rolling across the pool. Also, do you guys like our black grout? It's actually white. It's just covered in dirt in between all the tiles. I love this so much. Yep. It's fun up here. Let's just stay inside and check out this new machine we have. You bought a margarita machine? We were supposed to have it for the party that we had a few weeks ago. But... Didn't come in in time? Oops. This was supposed to be for Mary's birthday party, but she just but had we some... We have enough like, bunker events and all that kind of stuff that... It will be actually really cool. Like We have bunker events where there's... 50 people or more, they bring spouses yeah. or something. Like, it'd be awesome to have. During the summer, it'll be fun just to take us up there on a random day. Yep. Like, everybody working in the warehouse. Yep. Let's see what we got. Instructions? Yeah. We don't need no instructions. I have a feeling we probably need to open up the other one first. Annie, we don't need that. I'm basically a doctor. I can figure this out. I don't need get that out of my face. Do not lift here. Okay, don't don't lift here. Where are we supposed to lift from? I wish there were instructions that told us where we're supposed to lift from. But there's not, so it seems like the easiest place to lift from. Cool. So how do you get the slushy out? Come on. I don't know. It seems like it's gonna take a long setup. It's gonna be some building here. Baby girl love my bop and I like me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen, don't stop, they ain't gonna feed you. I've been all on my ground, so why I need you? Amazing. We have freaking margarita slushy machine. What does that do? Left auger on. It doesn't look on. Oop! Oh, it's on! Look what I did, Mayor. Right auger on. Yeah, it's ready. You get, I hope you're ready to taste your slushy. We didn't put anything in there yet. Left ice, chill. Oh, you can make it just cold. You can put it on ice or chill. Whoa! Fancy. Probably shouldn't run it without stuff in there. That's cool. Sweet! Now we hope all of our seals are good. Oh, I just poured that all over my keys. We're gonna need way more. Much better. So we've just put water in there, turned it on, and then we're gonna do this one as well. We're doing one for kids, one for adults. Woo! We dumped the stuff in there. This is kid's side. All right, we got Coke in this side. Yeah. Back at the HQ, I figured while I was waiting for my frozen beverages to turn into frozen beverages, I'd go ahead and figure out how we're gonna actually hook the kayaks. So I. I rigged up this like loop-de-loop -loop thing that they, the ends just stick into and then I tied some ropes that go to the other side which has the same thing so it holds the ends in because there wasn't like a good way like I don't I just didn't want to trust it on this and then this one would hang from this one so it'd be a ton of weight on little things like that like for instance that is how we used to hook it up right here and eventually it it broke because it's old so I probably would get chained eventually. I just wanted to see if this would work. So I rigged it all up and then these sides are tied. These sides have, I want to put all carabiners in eventually because that'll be way easier. So there's carabiner there and then I have these two screw in um, loops here. I think that will work though. And then I have one big loop here and this is some strong rope so it'll work for now. I mean, technically in a few years it'll get weakened if I don't put it with chain, but for now it should be fine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift it up here. 
and see if it works. Now seeing them in place, the location of that will be an issue with having to get a ladder up there. Electric winch uh, needs to be on order ASAP. Okay, it's all hooked up. We'll see if it works. It's a little floppier than I thought it would be. And this is coming right up in the bottom of the ladder. These are holding strong though. Looks good. There we go. That looks pretty good. So a few things I need to change is that needs to not be there because those things just hit the ladder the whole way up. Uh, and also if they fell, they'd fall right on your head while you're on a ladder. So I'm gonna try to order an electric one. That's pretty much it. They kind of, they bump the things going up the wall, but they don't hit very hard because there's enough space. So they didn't really knock anything down except that basketball goal that was there. But they're way up, out of the way. And once I get an electric winch, they'll be very easy to raise and lower. And they're freaking secure. Like nothing, nothing seemed sketchy as it was going up there. So I think electric winch, change these out to like, like playground swing chains, something really small. And I think it'll be, Fantastic. Mayor. Okay. It was a fail. Yeah, this is. <laughs> what do y'all think? It's okay. It's not very good. <laughs> we just got, I think, the wrong kind of syrup or something. The kids are all fans it's of it. Gonna help. We're just gonna add a <laughs> If we just make it not a slushy anymore? Yeah, no, it's still gonna be a slushy. It's just gonna be a little. <laughs> this is our first attempt. Round it's not. Two. It's not terrible. It's not good. If anybody knows about these margarita machines and has a, a better place to buy the syrups and everything, <laughs> help. help us, send it to us. Uh, we're learning and, and, and we need help desperately. <laughs> Five years ago, you were like, hey, we're going to go up to Michigan to blow up the Tannerite. Yeah. And I came up here for that. And if you said that yesterday, Roman Atwood podcast, uh, at the time of this video going live, uh, it also just went live. So I just actually, he sent it to me unlisted. So it's the night before for me. I get to watch it a little early. Go check it out. I'm on Roman's podcast. Let's get it higher views than his other podcasts so far. I think I think they're in the 400K. Let's get this one up there. Demolisha, go attack this podcast. Blow it up. Say the Demolisha is here. All right, Demolisha, good night. I'm going to upload this video and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.